This is our tip of the week. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to create roof framing, and let's go ahead and get into that. So to create roof plate framing, you basically uh, uh, first need to set up and place the frame. If you've not done this before, uh, what you first need to do is to select just the roofs. Okay, whatever is going to be framed, you need to select. And then once you've done that, you can then go to your design menu, go down to roof extras, go down to roof maker, and go down to roof wizard. Uh, I'm going to go through the roof wizard, but I also want you to know that you can individually use um, what I'm going to show you in the in the roof wizard. Each one of the components of roof wizard can be can be used individually as well as a toolbox here uh, to create uh, your framing. So if you're using a roof wizard, you can actually go through and configure your rafters, including your, the width of the rafters, the height, um, the eave angle, uh, the soffit angle, uh, the type of line type you want to use for the axis, uh, how you want the spacing for your rafters uh, to be defined, whether you want to add an extra rafter um, to uh, big gaps, uh, how you want to join the rafters, at the uh, at corners, whether you want to stagger it on slant ed edges or not. Uh, also, uh, double rafters on windows. So in other words, you've got a skylight, you want double rafters around that skylight. And also minimal distance between rafters and the material and the, and the layer. We can also configure both collars and tie beams. Uh, so again, the tie beam, click this button here, It'll configure that. If the collar beam, you can configure that option as well. And again, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do that collar beam, or if you don't want to do that ridge beam, you can simply click this button right here to turn it off. If it's on and you're using this this wizard, then you can go ahead and configure uh, your ridge beam in terms of its width, its height, and and check whether you want the beam between rafters. And you can also choose to have plate beams as well. You can also, if you, when you click the hip rafter, you can choose to uh, create hip rafters and valley rafters as well. And then how you want the eave angle to be uh, defined for that. Once you've done that, you simply click OK and it creates your roof framing. Just to note, the roof framing, is once it's created, is still editable. So that means that you can actually go in, you can select any individual uh, framing component of that roof, move it, uh, open up the settings and edit it uh, as necessary. And then you can also create a lumber pack list. This is a great option if you want to track this for pricing purposes. And in fact, this is going to become really uh, very important as we move into ARCHICAD 22 because with ARCHICAD 22, we can do more than just go down to listing um, our component list for lumber packs. We'll actually now be able to associate costs with all of the uh, components. So we can actually start tracking costs, labor costs associated with the, um, the lumber pack and begin to get a, uh, an estimate for that as well.